Hi guys, me again. I know, that's like the second or third time I've said that tonight. <laughs> Welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I will be discussing what I thought of the latest and very, very good episode of Daryl Dixon. Well, the full title is The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon. Finally caught up with all the episodes um, this being the most recent one. So this is the one that dropped this past Sunday. So if you're not caught up on Daryl Dixon by the most recent episode, this one, or the past couple episodes that came before it, you do not want to keep watching or listening as I will be discussing spoilers, plot details, character stuff, all that jazz. That being said, you have been warned. Let's dive right back into it. So first and foremost, a uh, great episode. It was very exciting. I like seeing the believers going up against Quinn's people outside the entrance to the nightclub you know at first it just seemed like a, a firefight going back and forth but then it dawned on me as Quinn quickly realized oh it's a diversion this is just to for Daryl to sneak into the nightclub and get Laurent back who doesn't seem too impressed or pleased with the fact that Quinn is his father so oh yeah and I know there seems to be some confusion or some scratching heads about what exactly the deal with Laurent is, like that whole sequence with Daryl, seeing him get surrounded by walkers and then he just goes into a praying stance. I feel like that was a dream or an hallucination by Daryl after he fell through the roof at the end of the previous episode, landing in the water, and he still had on his mind, in his subconscious. He was thinking about the conversation he was having with Isabel about how she was preaching all her beliefs and religious uh, whatnot about how she believes her nephew is the chosen one, the Messiah, to lead them out of the apocalypse, that there's something special about him and whatnot. So because they had just had that discussion or argument about Laurent and his future, it's probably why Daryl imagined what he did when he was underwater before he snapped out of it, woke up, and uh, killed the two walkers that were swimming underwater before, you know, coming back up to the surface. So I think, I think... That's what that opening scene was supposed to be. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Rest of the episode was great. God, I loved the creepy story that Daryl told about the neighborhood kid, Jimmy, getting uh, beaten up and picked on and whatnot. And then somebody, I think, killed his beloved pig or his dad told him that we have to kill the pig and whatnot. His pet pig, I guess. Of course, the whole story was just BS just to get under the skin of the guy they were interrogating. And of course, you know, Daryl uh, showed him how cruel and dark he can be by stabbing him repeatedly. You know, he tapped into that uh, nasty, tough Dixon side of him that we've seen in Merle and now we've seen it in Daryl as well. And uh, it just goes to show you just how far Daryl is willing to go to uh, save a life or protect someone he cares about, in this case, Laurent or Laurent. Um, however you say his name. So as dark and as uh, as uh, gruesome as that interrogation scene was to watch, actually, I didn't find it that difficult to wa watch. I found it more amusing and entertaining uh, because of the dark, terrible story that Daryl was telling, which very well could have been true knowing Daryl's past and the neighborhood he grew up in. But of course, he just it was just a bunch of bullshit to get the guy to talk and to squeal, basically. Squeal like a pig, kind of like in the story that he was telling. So uh, I liked that. That was, that was a nice touch. Yeah, this was another great episode. Um, shows you that there's a bit of, seems to be a bit of a power struggle between the woman, Jeanette, or Jeanette, and Quinn, you know, with him trying to run his nightclub and her trying to run whatever the hell society or army or whatever you want to call it that she's trying to build. She does seem to consider Laurent a bit of a threat as a false hope or a false messiah. And she doesn't want that infecting everybody else who's already infected with that belief or idea of him. So now she's after him too, as is Quinn, but for different reasons. Uh, so there's that interesting power struggle between our two bad guys. And then uh, I love the fight between Quinn and Daryl. It was uh, violent. It was uh, tough. It was, uh, you know, very efficient. You know, both men are quite capable fighters. Daryl probably would have killed him if it hadn't been for the boy standing right there. And Daryl probably didn't want to be the guy who killed his father right in front of him. So he just, you know, knocked his ass out. 
And then, of course, he ends up being the one who has to take him to the nest, which I guess is some kind of safe haven or something like that that'll keep Laurent safe and help him spread or preach his word or whatever, and they have to go down river. And Isabel feels compelled to stay to try to make amends with Quinn for some reason or create some kind of arrangement where everybody else will be safe as long as she can get back on Quinn's good side or something. I don't know. It seems a bit confusing and she seems to trust Daryl with getting her nephew to safety, I guess. We'll find out. We've only got two episodes left this season, so we'll see where the hell the story is going. But overall, I really liked this episode a lot. I still enjoyed season three so far out of all the episodes. I think I enjoyed season three the most. It was very exciting. It was full of world building, great characters and locales. But this episode was pretty great too and very entertaining. So as long as it's entertaining and not boring or disengaging for me, I'll enjoy it. And that doesn't just go for this show, but that really goes for any show or movie, um, you know, that I, I would watch or do watch. So, yeah. So I hope you guys like this episode as much as I did. What did you think of it? I'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings on it. Thank you so much for watching and bearing with me. I'm almost done catching up with all my videos. I just got to get this one uploaded and one more trailer reaction video later tonight. Have a great rest of your night if I don't see you. Thanks again for watching. The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon drops new episodes every Sunday on AMC and AMC Plus. Don't miss it, it's a good show. Have a great rest of your night, everyone. Thanks for watching, and of course, until next time, may the force be with you.